We're trying every item in the May 2022 Keto Crate right after this. Hey guys, welcome to Smash the Crate, the monthly series where I, along with my mother and my husband, try every item in this month's Keto Crate. Don't forget, you can click the link in the description below to get a discount on your very first Keto Crate, or you can stay around to the end of this video to see if you won this one. Okay guys, so I think it's a thing they are no longer putting the literature in the Keto Crate, right? Because now they have they give us this nifty QR code. Paperless. Exactly, okay. that's what I'm saying, green for the planet. You know what I'm saying? So I, at first I was like, oh, there's no literature. Oh, there's no literature again this month. I was like, oh, maybe that's just what they're doing oh, from now on. Scan the code. Right. No, I didn't scan the code. I mean, I'm sure but you can. Exactly, but you can okay. scan the yes. code, right? But yeah, so no literature, but now you know what that means? We can just get right into the snacks, right? Okay, yeah. so starting off, it's a meat stick. Yay! I know, I know, that's what my husband's gonna like. Finally, keto crate. No, I literally think we had a Keep meat stick last done. time. I promise of a spoon stick in every crate. No, absolutely not. We do not need that. Do not make that promise. If you guys know how I approach Smash the Crate is I start with my least favorite things to my most favorite things. So that always just means categorically savory to sweet. So I'll start with savory yes, things first. Unfortunately. Yeah, and then so that's always gonna mean meat sticks first. And then we talk about our tiering system. So this is how we actually rate each item. So we have a tiering system from first to worst. One, two, three, four. Number one is I love this product. This is great. I have bought it with my own money. I would buy it with my own money. I'd tell you to buy it oh, with yeah. your own money. Oh, yeah. This tastes delicious. Number two is, you know what? I really like that. Like I probably wouldn't buy it myself. Like this isn't the thing I would buy, but like if I received that for free, I would love that. Yeah, and then tier number three is like, that was okay. Like, uh, definitely not buying it. Eh, it was, uh, you know, if somebody mm -hmm. gave it to me for free, I'd put it in the back of the snack drawer, maybe like save it to the very end. Yeah, yeah. And then tier number four mm -hmm. is like, I hate this. I do not like the way it tastes. I would never buy this. And even if someone offered it to me for free, I would no. not accept. Nobody. Yeah, you I would say, not? I would say thank you, but like, I don't even like those. So there's, there's no point in me taking that, yeah, right? even say thank you. Yeah, well, I would say thank you for the gesture of like, thank you, you for offering me something gross. this thing that I don't like. And well, once again, just because I don't like it doesn't mean it's gross. Exactly. It just means I don't like yeah. it. So, that you know, thank so you for true. thinking of me. Based but thank on you. your meat stick preference, we know your taste right. right. Yeah, this is gonna be, yeah, definitely a tier three. Um, garlic and herb. Ooh. Oh yeah, my husband loves Sounds garlic, like so let's go. Yeah. Okay, it's just a meat stick, so there you have it. All right, let's go. Let's see what this garlic and herb mm -mm. is supposed to sound like. Tastes like me. Mm. I can definitely taste the herbs. Okay. So. Mm. Salty. Mm. The garlic and herb nature of that kind of makes it taste mm. like a pepperoni. Mm. And I like that. Yeah. Still a tier three. Salty. Oh, okay. Still, just, you know, mm. meat sticks aren't my thing. But if I had to have a meat stick, that would be probably one of my favorite types besides like a spicy the version one that of it. It tastes like a pepperoni. Yeah, because it reminds me of pepperoni. Like, here's the thing. I don't even really eat Too raw much. pepperonis because I just don't like the texture, you know? I, not a, not a lot. Thing. Yeah. I'll so, give it a two. Yeah, so it's a three for me, but I mean, garlic and herb, I mean, it tasted really good. That was probably one of the yes. better tasting ones I've you had. You're a meat stick connoisseur such as myself. It's a one. No. Mm -mm. Okay. One, two, three. Yes. All right. Okay. So that was good. Next, field trip crispy cuts. <laughs> Love us some crispy cuts. So these are pork rinds. They are sweet chipotle. So it might be a little spicy for my mom. You know, I've become the type of person that like shakes up pork rinds to get all the dust, you know, everywhere. Coated it on them. I do that to all my bags. <laughs> Anything that's in a bag gets shaken before it gets. Yes, yes it does. <laughs> no matter what. Mm, okay. You got it? Yeah. Yay! Yes. You, oh my gosh, this is oh, wow. I'm not gonna that. give you the large one. Exactly. She'll is take it three it. in there? She's mm. gonna take it. No. Okay, here's okay. here's a good there decent size. Yeah, I'll give you the large one, Richard. Oh, what the oh, heck? Good night! 
Lord, that, that's the bag. Do you have anything left? I mean, exactly, what? just little kernels. Oh, so, what is head? happening right there? Mm, okay. My that looks Lord. like a science project. Yes. Oh, here's a here's a nice size one too. Okay. Wow. One, two, Great three. Cuts. Mm. I like that. I know. Not as spicy as I remember. And I even shook it up to make sure all the dust gets on it. I know. Mm. Yes, you do. Have you know? burn off your face. Oh, yeah. That is salty. Barely spicy. spicy. Not true. No, I'm like I said, I, I'm like, I it's ate sweet. four to like try to get the, I mean, there's a it's, heat somewhere, but. Yeah, it's there's a subtle a heat. heat, but it's. It's subtle sweet too. Yeah, it's sweet too. Sweet Chipotle. I mean, that's a tier two. Like, <clears throat> I love that. That's delicious. Well, if, I'm you going. Have a, if you have a heat sensitivity, then. Three yeah. for me, dog. Mm -mm. But this is so good. Yes. No, it was really good. I'll go yeah. two as well. That flavor was really good. Okay, next, an item we've never heard of. Well, a brand we've never heard of. An item that we know. Ellsworth Cooperative Creamery Ooh. Cheddar Curd Cruncher. So they're like, Ooh. so they're like cheese bits, you know? Think moon cheese, yeah. but like a little different. Right. Thinking moon cheese. cheese curd with moon a crunch. Cheese. Yes. Moon cheese. Mm, moon, moon cheese, cheese, but different. Okay, guys, I'm opening absolute game changer. Ooh. It's resealable. Shut the front Like door. it has a resealable. <laughs> Wow, I love that. That is a game changer. Oh my God, look at these. Okay, so That's moon cheese, they shape. are not. Yeah, so this is just dried cheese. It has to be like just like dehydrated okay. cheese. So, all right, and there's no flavor. The flavor is natural, so let's go. Oh wow, very milky. There we go. Mm. It's very milky. You know, honestly, you want one? No. Okay. The texture is a little weird. Yeah. That almost seems stale, but I don't need to. I can't even describe it. Yeah. Oh, that's I it. What? It's like, the more you chew it, the more cheesy it tastes. No. I mean, it's a tear two. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind this. Okay, I'll take another. <laughs> okay, I'll take another. It's just a little. Hmm. Hmm. Different. Give yeah. Like. Taste the curd. Yeah. It tastes like a cheese curd, only a really hard, crunchy one. Yeah. It's it's a mm -hmm. it's so yeah. Just like powdery, almost yeah. almost like it's powdery. Mm. I like the flavor. I think. But the flavor is salty yeah. and delicious. Yeah. I mean in the end it does taste exactly like a cheese curd. I yeah. give it a one. I really like that. Oh one. wow. It's a very I mean fun you journey. like like the chew experience? Yeah. Like okay. It's a very fun journey. Yeah, you gotta you have to let it set in your mouth for a minute and just let it moisten up. So flavor-wise, I am gonna say this is a tier one. Like this is like delicious, like salty cheese. For me, this is a tier two. I wouldn't buy this. And then once again, comparing it to other cheese crispy things that I've had, mm -hmm. I'd probably buy those. But I mean, that tastes good. If, if once again, if I saw this in the keto crate and if I saw a different flavor, I'd be like, oh yay, something else to try. Like, the, I mean, that tastes really good. Mm. It really does taste like a cheese curd. Yeah. Spot on. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to try High Low Life Ultimate Taco Tortilla Chips. Now these are delicious. I love these differ from Quest Chips in that they are almond flour based, not protein powder based. Ooh. And so now I'm just Ooh. interested to see the flavor. Here we go with the flavor. Yeah, we're see, seeing the look, flavor. I know, I, I heard myself say that. Okay, so <laughs> you can see like they have like well, the little... the flavor now with those char marks. Yes, that's what they are. They're like char marks. Um, you can tell they, they've like been sat on a grate mm -hmm. and like and cooked. So I'm excited about out. that. Okay. So, okay, let's go. There we go. Mmm. What was oh, that? that thin enough where it's nice. I don't know how. Somebody right in the beginning. In, 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 at the very beginning, yeah, something's not right. right. I think it's really thin and crispy. The texture and all the crunch is wonderful. It's just a, some it almost tastes tasted, tasted sweet. That was weird. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know what's happening. Okay, beginning of this going we'll give it a tier two. I mean, yeah. I mean, once again, it, it it's a tier two, mm -hmm. but this is definitely isn't my favorite flavor of this. Like they have like a regular nacho cheese that's like much better. Yeah, this flavor, 
that was an adjustment at the yeah. beginning. Like something about that was like, ooh, that wasn't what I expected and not necessarily in a good way. So I mean, but I do love the thinness. I love the, the crispy texture. I love the little char marks. I mean, it's a total experience, but flavor wise, that one wasn't my favorite flavor. Okay. <clears throat> Moving into the sweet. Yes. Okay. Okay. The first thing we're going to try snack house, keto cereal, banana, maple, French toast. Okay. I know, right? Like, so they say, so that says. And away we go. We'll be the Do we need of that. banana maple French toast cereal? No, I'm probably sure of that. Okay. Yes, they look like kicks. Yeah, I mean, these look exactly mm -hmm. like kicks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're just white puffs. These are protein puffs, um, protein puff balls. Yes, let's... they are. Nice, mom. Nice. Okay, let's go. All right. <laughs> oh. Mmm, such banana. Ooh, yeah. The banana instantly. Ah. No maple French toast. Maybe maple, no French toast. Yeah, I'd say some maple too. Yeah, I would say banana and maple. I mean, mm. Do I like banana flavored things now? You like. Say maple, French toast, blah, blah, blah. Mmm. I 100% like banana flavored things, so. That's delicious. That's a tier you know, one. Mmm. Yeah. Whoa. If you like banana, woo! Okay, I put those down. Woo! Maybe banana and syrup. Maybe That's what I'm taking. Yeah, right. Y'all <laughs> mm. yeah, both are very wooing and wild. <laughs> That's good. Apparently That's so. Nice. I don't think I would need to eat that with milk. Maybe. No, I don't think so either. I think <laughs> it's mostly gone right now. Shut oh. up. It's <laughs> a one for me. Yeah. yeah, that's a one for me, yeah. dog. Whoa. It was really good. I like it too. Yeah. It's a one for me, mm. but I was already. All right. Other fruit flavored thing. Okay. Blueberry vanilla cashews right. from Keto Farms. I like so, blueberry. Yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> I like cashews, so we'll see. Well, I like blueberry. Well, I like cashews, so we can, <laughs> well, we can keep going back and forth. stuff. I like the packaging. Yes. Vanilla. Yes, basically. You like coffee. Mom! Well, well okay, do I get one of each? You see, oh, the claw. Each? The claw was back. I'm missing one thing. No, oh, mom. It's, it's blueberry vanilla coated cashews. They're no, they're yes. just cashews. Okay, here's what they look like. They're like hey, you can definitely see they have little crusty yes, things on they're them. They're blueberry okay. cashews. All right, let's go. Mmm. <laughs> I taste the blueberry. Yeah. Me too. Taste the cashew. That's really good. Old in the blueberry dust. Mm-hmm. I think I think vanilla is one of those things where it's just like. A hint of vanilla sort of thing like that's not a dab will do you yeah mm. but here's the good thing about that is like that's you know delicious when people start putting mm. things flavors on mm -hmm. the nasty and gross one. that's actually a really good yeah we're looking at you pazoots exactly. <laughs> i mean Still i didn't want to say <laughs> i'm okay with this but for flavored nuts um and then fruit flavored especially no. that that's really good that's yeah. a tier one yes okay tier one no, 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 am, no, am, no, am, am i just being a little loose with the ones or are these uh, things yeah, actually I very good that was very good yeah you, you like Lucy your Lucy nuts mm -mm. no fruity weird you'll love no them. okay something else we know we'll love oh, oh, yeah. monk pack keto granola bar Dark chocolate cocoa. Yeah, this is just gonna be. Hi, Monk Pack. Excellent. Good to see you again. Mm -hmm. Glad to have yeah, you. Yeah, glad to have you back. It's so. smaller. Well, it's honestly, it's not smaller. It's just they just scrunched it into well, one the side of the. Side yeah, exactly. It looks really tasty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it does. It looks very. Um, it looks appropriate. <laughs> it looks appropriate. <laughs> oh, what? Thanks, Richard. Okay, yes, it, it looks very, you know, like they have a drizzle on it. Like it looks like candy, you know, like it just looks like a treat. It looks like, like candy. It was supposed to. Oh, okay, let's go. Mmm. Flavor. Texture. Chew. That goes to coconut for me. Crunch. Mmm. That is delicious. That is mm. the coconut for me. Mmm. I knew that was gonna be a tier one. It's the sweetness for me. It's just so sweet. Mm -hmm. Look, guys, I love sweet stuff. Mm -mm. That is so sweet. Mm -hmm. That's Chocolate. In a row. Yeah. Almond butter and coconut. Mm. Bang. Okay, mm. monk pack. Yeah. That stuff's good. Yeah, that's nice. That's cool. a tier one. Wow. All right. Mm. Like Let's keep those ones. Today. Keep them ones going. Okay, so now we have a new product. Ooh, yay. Never heard of before. Uh -huh. Keto Hana Keto Granola. Coconut uh -huh. and almond. 
And I talked about how grateful I was that they only put it in this size package. Exactly. So, uh, Lord knows, Keto Granola is my kryptonite. Okay. It's yeah. good to be, be good. Both companies yeah, reach out for it. Make sure the, the claw don't get to them. Oh, whatever, oh, hater. Okay. So, this is really good. I can see a lot of texture in here. Uh -huh. There are lions are and peanuts? tigers and bears. No. Awesome. no. Are, are there peanuts in here? Of pumpkin it. seeds, the No, so there's clearly just almonds, coconut, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, a hazel. Oh, it's a hazelnut. There's okay. Just and and a rhythm Exactly. 40. Okay. Oh, no, it's definitely a, a mix of a trail. Yeah, so there's lots so of nuts and hiking. toasted um toasted coconut for sure. All right, let's go. You gotta kinda of get a lot of it. Yeah, that's exactly. Mmm. Stark contrast. Not nearly as sweet. Mm. Mm. Good. Man, yeah. I just want to you get enough of a mix. Mm -hmm. they, they bounce out each other. It's not super sweet when you're coming off of the bunk pack. Yeah. Good, it's very It is. Tasty. It's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. I think you feel healthier eating it too. <laughs> like you eat afterwards, you're like, man, I think I did something right. I did, yeah, I mean, that's this is this is definitely kind of like a guilt free, like, yeah. That's yeah. Just... Well, you, know, like, you know you made a good choice. Today. Yeah. Mm. That's good. Good job. Mm. 1.5. Yeah, like a one and a half. Not a one. I mean, it's thinking. really, don't get me wrong, but because, like, once again, I enjoy my granola sweeter and probably with some chocolate chips in here, but, like, for what this is specifically, it one really tastes good. And Very I'm nice. Saying, Thank you. Behind Monk Pack might have been a bad Exactly. Right. Like, we probably so needed to. That first. Yeah. And then went to the Monk Pack. But pack still, was it was really good. It was sweet. very good. 1.5 mm. for me. Mm. I agree. Okay, next I'm excited because we're trying a Duncan Hines keto friendly mug cookie. Uh -oh. So I just heated this up in the microwave. Yay. It says you're supposed to let it stand for two minutes. No, no, what we kind won't. Of, what kind of cookie is it? So it's chocolate chip. So I had to put standard. two. Yeah, I had to put two tablespoons of butter and then one tablespoon of water and then I had to microwave it for a minute and then you had to let it stand for two well, minutes. Why simple. would you have to let it stand for longer than you actually needed to cook it? No, absolutely not. We're letting it sit. Let so, we're not standing. This um, kind of reminds me of like oatmeal. Yeah. You know, it's very blonde. It's very, yeah, so it's just like, it's you know, we got spoons because I don't think it's Do anything that you want to like dump out and like actually eat like a cookie. It's almost like a, like a mug. Oh Brownie. And, 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 and all okay. of this shattering, it's probably Shut been up. two I minutes. Know. I so think two minutes has been passed. Okay. So definitely just like it's like okay. warm, you know. It's just Cookie like dough. something that came out of a microwave essentially. So okay. Here mm, we go. Smells good. Ooh, steamy. All right, let's go. Ooh, oh ooh. hot. <laughs> oh, wow. hot. Smell warm. mine first, see? Hot. Gotcha. Mmm. Mmm. It's good though. I mean that's hot. That's that's just hot. Maybe the two minutes is, you know, they, they were onto something there. There's a reason this structure exists. Uh, a nice. pot. Uh -huh. Put his Cooper Rebel on here or something? No, I don't like to mix. You, you, you like to vanilla? complicate things. I, like, no, no just. Adding flavor. No, just and eat it the way that it comes. She's a like, flavor builder, no. okay? Okay. Right. Well, let her go to Flavor Town. That's good. Mm. <laughs> that is Thank a hot. You. Duncan Hines. Yeah. That is a warm chocolate chip cookie. Mm. No aftertaste, no, no nice. stretch of the imagination. Yeah. No, I mean that's that was really good. All right. I mean, one. yeah, that is a tier one. Like, I'd have to agree. Come on, if, if you don't crave with these ones, I mean, unless if, you don't like chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, like or like warm chocolate chip cookies. Like I don't ever envision a world where I would let that cool down completely. I mean, I feel like part of the charm is the warm yes. nature of it. But flavor wise. That's a tier one. Now, granted, I don't know how much this costs. This could cost like $5 in the store. You'd be like, yeah. what? You better get you a half cup but of uh, almond flour and do you something, would. you know. Walking but like, around is perfect I think they're in the high twos. Yeah. Just walk around. Mm. But, that, but flavor wise, yeah. And convenience wise, yeah, you know. convenient. Delicious, tier one. I love it. Okay, finally, mm -hmm. I'm excited to try something brand new from a brand we already know we love oh, high, high key, key. soft uh -oh. baked mini treats. Like they're they're not calling them cookies. They're soft baked mini treats, birthday cake flavor. So there are sprinkles. There are so, yeah. Like I'm not sure what's going on here. Where did you get confetti to throw in them? Yes, lowers. birthday cake. No, okay. No, no. So <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, okay so Is anything not broken. It looks like a cookie. Like. It, yeah, it, it looks it, it looks like a cookie. It does look cookie -esque. Um, 
but it's like a soft bake uh, mini treat. You can definitely see the sprinkles. There yes. are a lot of different color sprinkles. That's I like it. Is. Okay, let's go. Okay. Here we go. Mmm, the sprinkles are crunchy. They are. Oh, it's a treat. Mmm. The mini one at that. Sprinkles, sprinkles, kick it. Oh no, FOMO, no mo. Okay. okay. I mean, overall, okay. to me, that's a tier two. Yeah, like, a two. not my favorite by any means. I do kind of get the little bit of a Ritz mm -hmm. cooling after, you know, it's very yeah. almond yeah, flowery. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, oh, it's just look at this. almond flower. Yeah, it's just very Wait, standard, right? Um, whereas I really do prefer like the crunchy, uh, like mini chocolate chip cookie yeah, sort of exactly. situations. That's um, your mm, that was good. I give it a two. I yeah, like it. tier two. I mean, two I'm not a fan of sprinkles. So two the left not a fan out. of sprinkles. No, like Game sprinkles. changer. Wow, I didn't know but, that about my own mother. So, but I just, I mean, but it was very nice. Yeah, it was. It was I love very high nice. key products. Yeah, I, exactly. I love high yeah. key, and I love pretty much everything. Sprinkles on so now I'm just like trying to put that in the mental rolodex of like, oh, well, I'd put that behind this. High this, key this, this, used this. to make breakfast biscuits. We needed yes. to bring those back. Those were delicious. Yes. Oh Everyone loved Everyone those. Where are they now? No, it was like a. It was like a granola type thing with berry, Ooh. dried oh, berries man, in it. It was so, so good. good. It tastes good with sauce. Yeah, so, because we got them last year for Keto Palooza, and they right. were amazing. Oh, yes. And then, speaking of Keto Palooza, if you don't have your ticket, you can click the link in the description box below. Join us this September in Louisville, Kentucky. September 30th to October. We'll be there. Yeah, we'll all be there. September 30th to October 2nd, Louisville, Kentucky, Keto Palooza, presented by Keto Chow. Yes. A lot of these products, which you guys don't know, the majority of where I get my ideas on who to ask for swag is from the Keto Crate. It's just like, Aww. oh, like for instance, Ellsworth Cooperative Creamery, be on the lookout for an email from me requesting swag for, for uh, Keto Palooza. Like I love discovering brands I've never heard of. I love discovering products, exactly. you know, so it's it's really fun. But do you know who I hope is coming to Keto Palooza? Oh, the person that won, this one's Keto Crate. Oh, yes. And I that person it. is, mm, yeah. we want to see you in Louisville. Yes, but on. I mean, I next best thing, you. You got a keto crate, yes. you know, send me an email. A lot of ones, got a lot yeah, of Yeah, a lot of ones. ones in here. Send me an email to watchautumnketo at gmail.com to claim your uh, keto crate, but also come to Keto Palooza. Yes, Anybody please. who's like listening, that's, it's gonna be really fun. Yes. Go ahead and comment down below. Give me the cartwheels if you're gonna be yes. there. Uh, this is the third annual Keto Palooza, so it's just getting bigger and better from here. We can't yes, wait to see you. Yes, can't go. wait. Okay, overall, this was a really good yes, keto crate. Yes. Like, yeah, really good. Lots of lots of savory, but Started honestly, things, off with a meat yeah, meat. that I enjoyed, right? So, uh, and then lots of sweets that I loved. Lots yeah. of things that I got to try and just ponder on for a second. So, Pondering up a storm. Yeah, stop holding things up. We're not doing that this year. This year. No. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> stop holding things up. Ah! Okay, guys. Have a good. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. <laughs> it's Derby Day here. Yes. Okay. And thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next month. Bye. Bye, y'all. See you next month. <gasps> Scalpel. Uh uh. No. I'm so angry right now. Mom, the scissors are over there somewhere. Like, I know. I didn't mean to, didn't make you to get my teeth. Oh, no. Rip the back. Oh, or.